only thing I knew is I didn't want to be the victim and this other trajectory of life. I wanted something different, so I made that choice. The choices you make today, tomorrow, they might affect you for the next year, five years, 10 years, or for the rest of your life. A lot of young people lose hope, lose vision, and start to complain. What does being a victim get you? Nothing, absolutely nothing. So if you're getting nothing from one direction, why not turn around and go to the other direction? Path of victimization is nothing. Path of hero, you might as well give it a shot, and all the different cool things that happen along the way are just amazing. There's never a lack of opportunity, never. If, if you don't think there's an opportunity there, you haven't found it. And so it's not, it's not the opportunities, it's you. Remember, the mind controls a body. The body does not control the mind. What makes these guys special and successful in everything they do is not their physical gifts, it's their mental toughness. Things are just happening, and it's because of one choice, and that's it. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking you've made all these different choices and your life is in one direction, make one different choice. Just one, and see where it goes. The most important thing is that you have a vision, that you have a goal. Because without that vision and without that goal, again, you're drifting around and you're never gonna end up anywhere. People don't become successful just by accident. I would follow my passion. I mean, whatever turned you on, you know, I, uh, uh, I found, I was lucky, I found something early that, that turned me on. But you don't wanna take a job just for the money. You don't want to take a job for an organization that you really don't feel good about or work for people that you don't feel good about. You, know, you really want to be excited when you get out of bed every morning. Follow your passion. Do something you're very passionate about. And don't try to chase what is kind of the hot passion of the day. Baby steps count too, as long as you're going forward. And one day you add all those baby steps up and you might be surprised at where you can get to. So you got to really have a specific order to me to have that vision that I want to be Mr. Universe, that I want to be the greatest bodybuilder of all time. That was a great vision and that specifically to look like Reg Park and to be up there on that stage and to lift the trophy overhead and to win the championship over and over and over again. So that was a great goal. I put pictures of Rich Park and of Sonny Liston, of, of boxers and of Ali and of powerlifters and weightlifters all over my bedroom, uh, you know, uh, wall, so that every day when I go to sleep, every day when I wake up, I look at those pictures and they motivate me. You need that motivation, and then therefore you have this kind of imprint in front of you all the time, and you know exactly what you're chasing.